Kevin loved watching TV more than anything else in the world, in life, other than his parents and his little sister, of course. He loved cartoons, baseball games, and shows about fishing. Kevin's parents had tried many different things to cure him of his love of teaching. Oh, TV, excuse me, of TV. They had come up with a list of awful choices that Kevin had to do for just one hour of TV time. Kevin did all of the chores right away and didn't complain. Then he did the same chores again the next day, including mopping the kitchen floor. One week, they banned him from watching any TV. They told him to go and play football with his friends or paint a picture with his little sister or read or read a book. Kevin did these things, but at the end of the day, he would come home and sit in front of the turned off TV looking sad. You know my friends watch TV all the time and nothing seems to be wrong with their brains, he said to his parents. Why are you so worried? They sighed, but the next day they made a shocking announcement. Kevin, his father, said, We're very tired of arguing about TV. We think it's going to turn your brain to mush. But we'll just give you your way to try for two weeks. You get to watch TV whenever you like. And we mean whenever, said his, fa his father continued. You just have to do your regular chores and your homework. And of course, you know which shows you're allowed to watch. Kevin couldn't believe his ears, but he was afraid to ask any questions or seem suspicious. Would he really be able to watch TV whenever he wanted to? Could he trust what his parents were saying to him? He decided to stay quiet. They might change their minds. So the great TV watching party began. That Friday, Kevin watched seven hours of TV. The next morning he got up at six o'clock and watched until noon, then started again after chores and lunch. This is great, he thought. This would show his parents that he could watch TV whenever he wanted to and still be a normal, smart kid. His baby sister was not too thrilled, however. She was happy to watch cartoons with him, but when he watched shows she was too young to understand, she yelled, You need to come play with me. Sorry, said Kevin. My show's about to start. On the following Friday, Kevin set in for a TV night. His final choice was an old monster movie on the science fiction channel. Everyone else was asleep by then, and Kevin was thinking about how lucky he was. But as he sprawled on the floor in front of the TV, something odd began to happen. The monster in the movie reached through the TV and grabbed Kevin by the shoulders. The monster pulled Kevin straight into the TV, and Kevin screamed. Kevin had just been thinking about how funny the movie was. The monster was not very real or frightening looking. After all, this movie had been made a long, long time ago. The creature's movements were uneasy and slow, but the clumsy monster was only funny if you were lying on the floor in front of the TV and not inside it. As the now terrifying creature dragged Kevin along the fake looking scenery in the movie, he continued to scream, Let me go! Let me go! He was very afraid of this creature. Suddenly, Kevin felt as if he, had been sh be if he was being shaken, not dragged. Kevin, wake up! Wake up! 
You must be dreaming, his father said. Everything's okay. Let's get you in bed. As Kevin's father reached up to turn off the TV, Kevin saw the monster staring out at him from the screen. He didn't look so harmless anymore, Kevin thought. He realized that he was just as glad to see the screen go dark as he had been to see his father's kind face. The next morning at breakfast, Kevin told his parents the TV watching party was over. You know I always hate to admit this, he said to them, but I know you're right. Too much TV is, well, too much, he said, thinking of himself lying in the living room, screaming at a monster in a box. His parents looked at each other, smiling. We had a feeling you might feel that way. We got your bike fixed and brought you a new helmet. Probably a good day to try it out. Now you're going to answer some questions. <laughs> 